Hello. Is that Stephen Jolly? Yeah. Avi here from Rebel News. We're just uh, covering a story on your motion tonight. And we're just wondering, how is this one a council issue? Um, if you don't agree with it, that's fine. But uh, I think uh, it's a council issue because people in the area are pissed about it. Which people? So have... Uh, more council stuff in half a day than you and your fucking mates and all the other councils added up together do in a year. So I've got the right to raise an international issue if I want to, mate. So you can go and just get off my phone and stop annoying me. Why are you getting upset? I'm just trying... Get I'm, I'm not sure what I said there to upset you, but I'm just, we're mate, just... Mate, mate, I'm on a construction site. I'm at work in my real job. All right? If you want to talk to me, ring me after 5.30. After 5.30? No problem. I'll call you after 5.30. Earlier this week, City of Yarra Councillor Stephen Jolly moved a disgraceful one-sided motion against Israel, vilifying the Jewish state as genocidal while ignoring any of the violence perpetrated by Hamas terrorists. All of this, by the way, in the name of Middle Eastern residents of Yarra who I couldn't find. So, who is Councillor Jolly, you ask? Probably better to let him answer that question. The person who came first in the election and has won five from the tribe and the only councillor whose voters increase every election is me. And I'm a fucking crazy communist, you know? <laughs> At least he's honest, eh? So I called the councillor on the day of the vote and the following day again. Whilst he started aggressively, like you heard in the opening there, I'd say we had a robust discussion both before and after the vote. But, unfortunately... What you're about to watch makes it clear that Councillor Jolly uses his position to push his personal bias about the conflict, even though he's got zero idea. The sad part is he's doing all of this at the expense of the residents of the city of Yarra. You told me yesterday you were doing it on behalf of numerous residents, uh, including some Palestinians. Uh, I have looked up the demographics. I, there's not really any information on Palestinians. There's a, there's a big demographic of Jews, which was which was probably, I guess, uh, I think three of the people there that spoke. I don't know how many people are watching, but nobody can actually respond. We don't have the zero and we can jump in. Jumping into a statement like this without actually engaging the community, without asking them, what do you feel about this? Making a declaration that overnight would become very public means that the city of Yara and the councillors would become this in the spotlight of the political debate. This is not an item saying we hope that there will be peace in the Middle East. That's not the phrasing of the, doc of the message. You know, I think everyone here would say they're in favour of peace, of people having the right to live their lives and so on. That's a, that's a good statement. That's a statement that puts everyone in a way the humanity aspect of it, which I think aligns with the values of the council. That was just one of the few residents that came to express the absolute outrage over Jolly's motion. By the way, no one came to support it. The other two residents who did attend and spoke and the Jewish council, they all spoke just as eloquently. Still, even so, a watered-down version passed, making it clear that the city of Yarra doesn't represent their residents. Instead, they are there just to push their own socialist agendas. We stood for a two-state solution. We, we called it a, a socialist two-state solution. You're trying to screw both sides with that one. <laughs> we, 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 we. I laugh, but it's not even funny. Socialism would devastate both people. Socialism doesn't work on a good day, so I can't see how throwing Arabs and Israelis in the mix could be a good idea to anyone. Anyways, watch our discussion all the way through, then share it to expose the ignorance of this leader pushing dangerous rhetoric in the name of the residents it hurts most. And then make sure to have your say. Let us know where you stand on this issue by voting at israelorhamas.com. G'day, Mr. Councillor Jolly. After 5.30, I hope you... Hey. Sorry. Well, you can say it is. Well, I don't want to be rude. Why haven't you mentioned in your motion anything about the rockets or condemning Hamas? Do you condemn Hamas? I'm sure if a Hamas rocket landed on your head, you wouldn't be very happy with it. You know, I mean, I, I come from Ireland. We've also had a civil war. So I understand the point that you're trying to make. I get, like, I'm not trying to... Is, is it ever acceptable to fire rockets indiscriminately into civilians? Um, you, okay. They're stealing homes from Palestinians, and that is guaranteed to cause a reaction that is violent. Uh, Israel is illogical. It's as illogical as Perinalias here in Australia. It's a legal fiction and it's shameful.
Is, okay, is Australia? Do you do you subscribe to the thing that Australia is on stolen land? Uh, yeah. So, if an Aboriginal community started firing rockets into Melbourne, would that justify it? It's not. It's totally different. We, the, 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 the Indigenous people, they're now citizens in Australia, equal citizens. They can vote. They can same, vote. same in Israel, 20% of the population. Right to go into to, indigenous area. Same, same, as, same, as, same as Israel. Same as Israel, though. 20% of the population is Arab, the ones that didn't... Yeah, but, but, but the, the pop... Israel now is way bigger than the pre-67 border. I mean, Israel now basically controls... But, that, but there's no difference. But, but you, you're, saying, you're saying saying that they have... That they have yeah, equal rights. Hey, listen, mate, and I'm not trying to. I'm quite happy if you want to ring me back tomorrow, but I've, I've got to actually go to a meeting, so I have to. Um, I'm not trying to fob you off. I, I get it. I get. I, I get it. But so, do, if there were, yeah, no problem. I might cap. I, I might take you up on that offer after we see how. It, is your motion going to pass tonight? Oh, I, I don't know. All right. Listen. Thanks very much for the phone call, and I'm sorry I shouted at you before. It's just that I worked in the construction industry, and I was really, really. I was on a crane at that time. I just couldn't talk, and I was just trying to get you off the phone. But um, if you, my job tomorrow on site is much calmer. When, when's a good time to call you tomorrow? Just when, when's a good time to call you? Just say that again. Sorry, Mister. When, when when would be a good time to call you so we don't? Oh, um, about three o'clock would be perfect. Okay, no problem. I'm going to see how it plays out tonight, and uh, and hopefully we'll chat tomorrow. Thanks, mate. Right. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Could I put forward some wording for a proposed amendment? Um, we note the complexity of the conflict that affects people of all, from all backgrounds and acknowledge a desire to see a strong de-escalation of violence of any sort um, in the area. Thank you. All those in favour? Councillor O'Brien, Councillor Stone, Councillor Wade, Councillor Devietri, Councillor Jolly. All those against? Councillor Crosland and Councillor Landers. Thank you. It was, I guess, the best way to frame it is it was kind of watered down. Were you happy? Yeah. Were you happy with that? I, I watered it down because by watering it down, I got more people to vote for it that otherwise would have. So, so you stand by the original, um, what you originally put forth, but to pass it, you needed to obviously well, I mean, compromise. It, 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 yeah, I mean, you know, it, I, I, that, that's a very good way of putting it. What I have seen today is some deep distress and unnecessary angst caused amongst the community. This isn't arguing about a bicycle lane. This isn't arguing about where a tree should go, some car parks. This is quite important. It's completely inappropriate that an emergency motion is, is raised and the community's got no ability to provide feedback on this. I've seen amongst my friends, amongst my neighbours who I live with, I chair the body corporate, we've got multiple Jewish people, people from Israel who live within there, who this causes unnecessary divide amongst the community. Um, the motion in its current form or the previous form, it needs some time. It needs a bit more sensitivity. Council and councillors have to be better. You provoked a very strong feeling in many of your residents about one yeah, specific the issue. The majority supported it. vast majority supported it. How do you, and, uh, how, how do you know that though, without putting it to the public? Um, well, I know, I know from like, from the feedback that I've got, um, I mean, That's I'm very anecdotal, but uh, I, I guess a lot. I haven't, I haven't done like a freaking, you know, professional. Um, I, I, I would say, yeah, I would say, well, it, it, you know, it, about an issue that is arguably not really council related. It, it, you know, the mm. point kind of came across there last night is that residents felt really hurt. Now, for, and I think uh, Herschel. Well, those, those people who turned up last night did. I, I accept that. I, I, I've the, spoken to a lot the of Greens, Jewish. The Greens are the biggest party in our area, and you know what their position is. People know what their position is on. You know, whether you like it or not, like people... They have... really don't like Israel. You're right. Meanwhile, the Syrian war has been raging for years. Many, many more people have died in that conflict, killed at the hands of a brutal regime uh, in some of the most awful ways, real uh, crimes against humanity. And yep. not once have you bought one of those. Why have you not done it for them? It's a little bit different because it's like David versus Goliath. Syria is Are you joking? Uh, the Assad regime is a brutal dictatorship. You're not going to get an argument from me on that, you know. But but uh, they but they they're literally butchering people uh, in ways that you cannot. Yeah, you absolutely. even you can't compare it to Israel. But yet you've never brought a motion against Syria. And do you see how Jews would look at that and and say, well, that is besides the fact that in your motion you do not even mention uh, the double war crime of Hamas. No, I, 
that's a, that's a strong argument that you're putting. I'm, I'm not trying to diss it. Don't get me wrong. But the, 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 the re- real politic of it, like it or not, is that, for example, people follow, you know, the American presidential election more than, the, you know, I don't know, the German presidential election, the, the German uh, uh, national elections in Australia. People follow the Middle East. You know, I, I, I'm not interested in what people follow. I'm asking you, do, do the Syrian people not matter as much to you as the Palestinians? No, no, of course not. I mean, I, I hope that's a rhetorical question. Of course not. But the fact of the matter is, this has captured the imagination of the Australian public. This, on both sides. Why, both why, why do you think that that's the fact? Why do you think people are so outraged about Israel when if you look at the numbers, it is inconsequential? That might be like a bit weird because, as you correctly say, there are way more people killed in Syria or in the, Yemen, the war in Yemen. So you've got to understand from the Jewish perspective, which is a big part of your your um, residence, is, is that they're looking at that and they're seeing that double standard where you're not bringing that up and you can say now to me that, yeah, that's a good point, I, I do support it, but they haven't seen that and all they've seen is you bringing a motion at a point in time um, where a land dispute, and it's, you know, you call it ethnic cleansing, it was a court decision that's been going for 30 years. You're talking about Jews with titles, Arabs who have no title on the land who okay, refuse to pay rent. I mean, I'm not talking about every single one, but you can't. You mean? You but but this 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 came from Sheikh Jarrah. Do you know? Do you know Sheikh Jarrah? Do you know, you call it ethnic cleansing? Do you know? Have you like I've been there and I. No, I bet that you know you've been there and I haven't. I, I, no, but but being there doesn't mean I know more about it. But what I'm saying to you is that you call it ethnic cleansing. Um, now I come from a background where they were ethnically cleansed for being Jewish and it's a very different thing when as you know do you think Jews should have the right of home ownership in Palestinian territory just as Arabs do in Jewish territory um, I, I, don't, I don't think that that people coming home from shopping and finding you know a, 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 um, an extremist Jewish settler. I, I'm not. No, that wasn't the question, though. That, I, I, I think what you're misunderstanding is that most uh, Israelis would I mean, most is, most Israelis would agree with you. I'm not. That wasn't my question, though. I'm asking a very sorry. simple question. No, no, sorry, sorry. It, it, do you believe? I'm a bit tired, so I'm sorry, no, I, 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 and I appreciate your conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I, I would just want to understand if do just you say it again, just say it again. do you believe that Jews should have the right to home ownership in what you would consider Palestinian territories, just as Arabs are allowed to own homes in Jewish um, uh, land, in Israel. You're about, are you talking about like the pre-67 Israeli border? I mean, I think Israel... Any borders. I'm, I'm talking about a, a general concept. I, I, I support a two-state solution. I, I, I get that, but 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 again, that's the, that, that simple I'm question. Too late for that now. I mean, we've got... Well, why is it too late? Arabs in Israel own land. Jews in Palestinian territories and, and disputed territories you're saying are not allowed to own land. Anyway, listen. Uh, I'm, I'm, wait, wait, wait. Before, uh, well, let's let's finish quickly. You talk about the 1967, uh, going back to 1967 borders. Um, do you think that that's going to end the conflict? Do you think that the Palestinians will, will actually accept that? Um, if, if, if Israel... It, what is the Israeli government offers? And 19, let's say we agree, everybody agrees on 1967 borders. Do you think Palestinians would agree to that? I think they would be popping champagne corks. I think it's so, 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 so. My question is, why from 1948? It's so to, not going to happen. What, I, mean, I think that the government. But why? Why? But uh, why? Since why from 1948 to 1967 did it not work? Why were they not happy? Things and, have moved on since then. Really? You got to know whatever, you know? The, the only ones that have refused peace this whole journey have been the Palestinians. The only ones that fought in 1967 and started that war were Palestinian, were the Arab nations. Now, so it's it's a it's a weird argument to think that if we go back to 1967, suddenly it's going to be better. If you go to any of their rallies, even here in Melbourne, they chant from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. That is not 1967 borders. From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! Palestine will be free! And you get idiots like in Melbourne, in the social sorter of marching around, like little middle class kids from Melbourne Uni, going, eh, 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 you know, that, that, mm, it was up to yeah. them, they push every fucking Jew into the sea, into the Mediterranean Sea. I mean, these people are racist opposite. So would you would you would you ever consider making a motion against these people? Because that's what we're seeing on the street. I'm quite happy to talk to you again, and I'm just La- last question. You said last night you called Israel an apartheid state where Israeli Arabs don't get equal opportunities, and I found that really bizarre because that's that's just false. Israeli Arabs have 
equal on every level. My my officer in the army was an Israeli Arab. I don't understand. What, what, I, what I meant by that is, is, I mean, I think in recent years, there's been an increasing move to, to, by the government to describe Israel as a Jewish state. Um, it's always than, been called a Jewish state. It's in, it's in the anthem. And, and, I, and I think that, um, you know, that there's, there's, it's been well documented that there's, you know, legislation has been introduced that the, 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 the 20, 30, whatever it is, percent of Arabs or Palestinians, whatever you want to call them, inside the state of Israel, I feel increasingly, um, and that's why they're, I mean, and I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm not condoning, you know, bashing up. The lynchings. People, and, 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 and you do, you do, you do but, but you say the lynchings in your motion and where the majority of the lynchings have actually happened from Arabs towards Jews, but you don't mention them. 10 to 1. Anyway, ten to one lynchings is Arab to Jews at the moment. Not I'm, that... I'm going to fall asleep on the phone. I think right. thank you for your time. I I really hope you consider um some I of think the... what you're saying. I actually I'm thinking I listen to you and I'm really you know I appreciate you ringing me twice to have a discussion. Uh, no? I think right. I think I think you 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 should really travel to Israel and no, Palestinian territories and you will find um COVID permitting. I would love to. All right. I'll, um, one day we can, I can certainly help organise that. All right, mate. Take care. Thanks for your time. No worries, mate. Have a good evening. See you now. If you learned anything from this report, make sure to pass it on. Share it with all your family and friends. Empower them with the truth so they can educate others. And if you want to have your say, head over to israelorhamas.com. Fill in the survey. Let us know. Do you think Israel has the right to defend herself. Israel or Hamas.com.